Spring has arrived, so it's time to update my daily nootropic stack. If you wonder which nootropics will I be taking daily for the next couple of months, stay with me. Hi friends and welcome to your Inception's YouTube channel. My name is Greg Gostinkar and on this channel we're on the hunt for the best products, nootropics and supplements to boost brain performance. If that interests you, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Now I believe it's very important to adjust nootropic stack every few months. Firstly, because cycling nootropics is vital to avoid overdose. And secondly, because our body and brain need different kinds of nutrients during different time periods. Since I live in a country with four seasons, I usually adjust my nootropic stack every season. Do you do the same thing? Yes or no? Let me know in the comment section below. So, what are the nootropics and brain supplements I will be taking in the next few months? Let's have a look. By the way, if you want to buy any of the supplements that I'm gonna take, you can find the links in the description below. First, I have already adjusted my daily intake of vitamin D3. Now, as you probably know, vitamin D3 is one of the most crucial vitamins for immunity and you cannot get enough vitamin D3 in your body during the winter because sun does not have enough of the UVB component in that time of the year. So I usually take about 4,000 international units of vitamin D3 in the winter, but I have reduced the amount to about 2,000 international units in the spring. The reason for that is that the power of sun increases in spring and I also spend more time outside. Also, I test vitamin D3 levels in my body about 2-3 to three times a year and I found during the recent test that 2,000 international units in the spring seems to be an optimal level for me. If you want to test your vitamin D3 levels, you can use the same service that I use and you can find the link in the description below. Another nootropic I'll continue taking in the spring is omega-3. Omega-3 fatty acids are crucial for optimal brain function, so I took about 1.5 grams of EPA and DHA combined in the winter. However, I tend to decrease the amount to about 1 gram in spring and I have two interesting reasons for that. First, it's because I usually do a brain detox in spring and that detox includes eating more algae, which means I don't have to supplement so much of EPA and DHA in a capsule form. And the second reason is that I occasionally eat some fish in spring, especially when it gets warmer and I'm invited to a barbecue. As you know, I'm a big believer in plant-based diets for several reasons. But if you get a quality fish now and then, and of course if you forget about the impact on the animals, which is a big debate I don't want to go into right now, I think it's okay to eat fish now and then. Now I test my omega-3 levels at least once a year and I found this dosage to be okay for me and also safe for long-term supplementation. The next tropic I'll take this spring is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is one of the most potent Ayurvedic nootropics known for its positive effects on stress, anxiety and overall well-being. Now why will I take ashwagandha this spring? because I will be more active than in the winter, both physically and mentally. I'm starting a new project soon, so I expect to be more often under stress. Also, being more active will increase pressure on my body, and as you may know, ashwagandha can increase your muscle and strength. I'll do a 3-month cycle in which I'll be taking about 300mg of KSM-66, the most popular ashwagandha extract. Now, I'll be taking about one capsule in the afternoon, but if I'll get super stressed, I'll take another capsule, so two capsules per day. It's important to know that I don't recommend taking ashwagandha right before sleep because it can cause vivid dreams. Also, if you had a bad experience with ashwagandha for whatever reasons, you can switch to rhodiola rosea or bacopa muneri, two other potent Ayurvedic herbs. By the way, if you want to learn more about ashwagandha, its benefits, side effects, etc., click up here. Another nootropic that I'll be taking this spring is jerba mate. This is a potent tea from South America that boosts your energy levels and focus without causing the typical energy crash like coffee, even though it contains caffeine. Jeromata is one of my favorite energy boosters that I use on days when I'm mentally and physically very active. So if I know I have a challenging day in front of me, I'll drink a cup of Jeromata in the morning and this will help me get through the day. Jeroba is also great for prolonged periods of focus because it gives you just enough push without the drama like coffee. And whenever I'm writing a script for my YouTube videos or a blog post, Jerba Mate works way better for me than any other stimulants. Now, if you never tried Jerba, just keep in mind that it has a very distinctive taste, so don't say I didn't warn you about that. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below and subscribe to this channel. Okay, let's move on. Of course, I'll continue taking my top rated nootropic stack, Qualia Mind. As you know, I have tried basically every serious nootropic stack on the market, and hands down, this is by far the best. Why is it so? because it delivers amazing short-term effects and it's great for long-term use. It gives you the needed brain boost, but it doesn't cause stress or anxiety. It's expensive, but not too expensive like some of its competitors. And it contains top quality ingredients unlike most other stacks. 
Now, I generally recommend taking about five to seven capsules five days in a row. Then you take a pause for two days and you repeat the cycle. Also, keep in mind that if you take qualia with gerba mate, then I suggest buying the caffeine-free version of qualia to avoid overdosing on caffeine. Too much caffeine is definitely not good for you. That's why I choose one or the other source of caffeine. Now, if you want to try qualia, you can use my discount code below. So, what else will I be taking this spring? Well, qualia night, one of my favorite sleep stacks. Now, generally, I have no issues with sleep, but sometimes it happens that I get too excited about something. Sometimes I'm nervous or sometimes I'm just too active too late in the afternoon. For example, if I go on a bike trip and then I need something to help me relax in the evening. And that's when I take qualia night. Now, this entropy can help you fall asleep and improve your sleep quality. And I know it because I tested it with my Aura Ring and I noticed quite an improvement in sleep quality after longer use of Qualia Night. Now, the optimal dosage is four capsules of Qualia Night and I'll probably take it once or twice per week. If you want to try it out, feel free to use my discount code, which you can find in the description below. Now, in addition to those entropics, I will be taking about five grams of creatine daily and additionally, about 300 milligrams of magnesium after a more challenging workout. And that's all I need to achieve peak brain performance this spring. Now, before you jump away, if you're not sure which is the right nootropic stack for you, I recommend two things. First, go through the personalized nootropics quiz, which I prefer for you, and you can find the link in the description below. And second, watch my next video. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.